All right, greetings. Okay, here's the chat questions. Um, we'll do what we can here. Some might have gotten missed. It's hard to say. So, uh, much love, and uh, here we go. Greetings, this is Novak. Greetings, humans. Peace on the earth. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best looking reptilian, whatever. Too much you go with it. Yeah, your election kind of sucks right now, but it's your world. It's your shit. I told you how messed up your world is right now. It's kind of giving you an idea. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, you are what you eat or something like that. It's kind of when those two start having an orgy together, then you know you're going somewhere maybe positive until then. So anyway, all right, whatever you guys are ready, I am here to answer your questions the best I can. This is not Elvis. This is, this is Novak. All right, whatever you're ready. Awesome. Nice that you're here. Greetings. Greetings. Thank you for coming in. Oh, anytime. I comb my hair and everything. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> um, awesome. So the first question, I believe, is uh, Joe Ellen E. <clears throat> my mother woke up from sleep and was paralyzed. She then seen a dead neighbor, Mr. Lee, who was grabbing her neck, almost like strangling her. What is that about? Shit, just trying to get your attention. God, that's not a good way of doing that. Uh, uh, healing. It was actually a healing. I know that sounds really messed up. That's a weird way of doing it. But it was a healing of the throat chakra. She's not always seeing things clearly. And sometimes the mouth is not... The mind isn't always seeing. It's usually... You know, some people are... Talking a lot, but don't always see something like that. I don't know. That's that's all I got. Something around those lines. Sorry, that's all I got. Thanks. Okay, and our next one is: I was wondering if there are any messages for me. What's the name of this person? Sorry. Joe Ellen E. Hey, what's happening, Joe Ellen E? What do we got for you? Uh, Silver Palladians have been visiting you a lot recently. You had an incarnation with them. Uh, let's see what else we got. What is. All right, one moment. I'm getting some. I'm not sure if this connects with you or not. I'm just going to throw it out there. Apparently, you have some sort of connection with a guy that wrote the. Wizard of Oz, you have like a soul agreement with that guy. I wouldn't say he is Bob, I think his name is. You have a a connection with him. Uh, past life, future life. I might no, you might be looking at me like I'm nuts. But that is what I've got. All right. Have a nice day. Welcome to Weirdville. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, and next is Stephanie Ritterman. Any messages? 
you're going through a healing process, and yeah, it sucks right now. Also, the Hathor what was in, you have had a lot of times as a Hathor. Also. And that might be why you feel like super alien here and like jump you know, bouncing all over the place. Because you have a lot of connections with them and other dramanins. But um I'm not sure of that. Oh, interesting. You also have a connection to Yeshua also in a previous life. Uh he doesn't want to go into detail on that though. That might help you ground here or call on his energies and ask him what the deal is with your connection to you. I got to talk after you. Thanks. Okay. And any negative entities causing any problems with me that I should be made aware of? Not that I know of. Um, you have insectoid friends that show up every once in a while screwing around with your energy. That's something for you to take care of. Nothing to worry about. That's right. Okay. Well, next is Jess444. Who was the Palladian that connected with me last night? And what messages do they have? He goes by the name of Sun Glare, a blue Palladian, a sixth density, a being, an old boyfriend, you can say, uh, helping you with grounding and those other stuff he's not talking about. And you also have insectoid connections, also. Uh, that's not him saying, it's me saying it. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. I'll leave you with that. Thanks. Have a nice day. I'm gonna say unisectoids go way back. <laughs> mm. Okay. And next question is: May I receive assistance with my root chakra at this time? It's in need of much healing energy. Blessing. Archangel Michael assists you with that. There's a lot of stuff. I don't need to go into. All right, blessings. Okay, and next is Chris to leave snow. Are there any messages from my higher self? Thank you, love and blessings. I mean, connecting to your canine beings and astral, building temples of joy, of love. Also, the Andromedans have been around you much. Assisting with your family life. Your family is very much a Andromedan family, actually. With a lot of Palladian connections. Of, as for timeline assistance, is what they bring. They're not going into detail on any of that, but... Okay, that might not make any sense, but... You'll figure it out. Thanks. Thanks okay. And next is Stephen Davies. An ET came to me the other day. Look great. They were holding my hand to who were they? I'll love to meet them again. Was there a message there? Thanks. The Palladians, they all looked like Nordic. Some were green, some were blue, uh, something like that. They're just building a star cluster around you of healing. And uh, yes, I think you visit them on their ships. You don't remember, but they did take you there for a second. Uh, be also, they actually were there a lot longer, but this felt like a second. So you missed it, basically. As f that is between you and them, as for any messages. It's just a, a, a time with friends. Let's put it that way. Thank you. Okay. And his second one is a question from for my guides. I've been listening to positive music, and you asked to remove negative past lives. How did I go? Advice and advice will be great. Thanks. Yes, it's gone well. Just to you can also visualize your chakras, visualize your red one, your whatever green, orange, 
whatever, purple. You can visualize them and visualize just, you might see something on top of it, around it, and you can just kick it off. That's my advice. You'd be surprised. Just see what comes through. Don't have to visualize, just visualize your chakra and whatever is around it, glue, gum, or whatever it is, just, and you can cleanse it. And you'd be surprised, you feel much better. Thank you. Perfect. And next is Gray Joyride. Can I ask for help from my boyfriend? Maybe a clearing, reform, reformatting, or healing of energy as he is facing potential homelessness at the moment and is undergoing health recovery. Thank you so much. Yeah, so it's a of energies. But remember, he has to be wanting to be helped. He's going through a time that understands is actually to, to strengthen him. Because he's had a lot of times he's had it quite easily. In this one, he asked for to be tested. So he will survive. But yes, it is quite difficult. It is difficult for a reason, though. Blessings. Anyway, much love to you. Okay. And next is Ra N. Do I have any physical implants? And if so, where? And what is the purpose of them? If there are any, I do not see any. I do not see any. The sectoids say hello. You know them. I know them. We're all buddies. Thanks. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do I have any messages? Thank you. Much love. Message from the Arcturians. Don't forget your past lives. Uh, one moment. One moment. With the ancient Greeks, you were actually one of great authority in ancient Greece. And sometimes your decision making wasn't always the best and affected others. Not always bad, but you were misguided by others. So, because you did not follow your own instincts. In this lifetime, it's for you to connect to your instincts to not make the mistakes that we've made in the past. But at the end, I see you doing a good job, though. So, in meditation, you will see this. Well, maybe. I think you will, but I don't know why I know. All right, have a nice day. Good insectoids say hi. Well, Okay, and next to symmetry, any messages for me? Yeah, this is a weird one too. Apparently you knew Hitler in another lifetime. He says hi. That's for you to explore. In another reality, he wasn't the badass he was on your planet. But he was kind of cranking up to that. So you knew Hitler in another lifetime. Congratulations. Uh, that might, might also add to your dysfunction here on Earth. You know what I'm talking about. Blessings. Have a nice day. And his next question is, I would like to know more about my higher self. Who is he and what is my connection to him? Your higher self is actually a female Uh, another name that Patrice. Also realize this is yes, you've had a lot of German lifetimes as a message that aren't opening up to you. Well, here they are slowly, and this was part of your soul contract to go into a phase that. With a lot of responsibility and a lot of mistakes. And now you're here to unwind those lifetimes on your own and heal and give back to society. You know, that's my add on. But there's a lot there that has to release that's with you. A lot of secrets with everyone, and yours are slowly being rebuilt at this time. Your higher self says, 
take it easy on yourself. Don't put too much pressure on her. But there's a lot of past lives that are very crucial for you to know. But this is something you have to figure out. Blessings. Okay. And next is Thomas Patterson. I was thinking of ordering myself a tiara with a chevron amethyst or a lapis lazul crystal, which will sit over my third eye. Am I going too far with this, or can this enhance my meditations and channelings? I hear both stones are good for the third eye. Which one will you recommend? Oh, yeah, that'd be fine. Just, yeah, you can't go too far. Your guides are there to keep you from blowing yourself up, so it'd be fine. Don't worry about it. Only thing would be happy if I found yourself on another planet, but that's only astral. Thanks, have a nice day. And his next one is I've had a pressure over my heart, solar plexus area lately. Is this because of a blocking or is it something releasing? Is the game I am playing creating blockings? You're releasing it. It's got a lot of stuff to release. You're like at an energy hospital right now, you can say. You just got a lot of stuff you got to let go, that's all. So you haven't been to this world very often. So when you come here, you got to let go of all this. Many are doing this now. That wasn't always the case in other lifetimes. But here is the case. That's not always the case in other lifetimes. Here, the, because it's going into ascension and other reasons. So anyway, okay, thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And next is Debbie M. Any messages for me? The Arcturians send their love to you. We've had a lifetimes of Mary Magdalene, many lifetimes of Mary Magdalene in other realities. Not on this, not in that incarnation, but other worlds, other realities. And you're going, you're, you're, what I see is a lifetime that is similar to what, of the Yeshua lifetime, that you will be a future life experiencing something similar to that. Come to find out that you already have in another world, and that same, yes, you have. You've been in that same position she was in a whole other planet. Not exactly, exactly, but kind of ex like exactly like that. If that make any sense? So they're just sending you messages, feelings. Thank you for your question, blessings. Okay, and the next one is: Who is waking me up at two twenty-two, three thirty-three, and four forty-four in the morning? Spirit guides and also spirit children that are around you. Apparently, you've been connecting to. And astral, you mean connecting to the Palladians often. There's another way to keep you on Earth because you've been seem to be weaving, and once you like weave all together, I think that's what's been going on. And it's just another way to let you know Earth is your home for the moment. But this is also temporary, but it's also your testing ground. But it's mostly spirits. Blessings. Okay. And next is Donna Riggs. Blessings tonight. Can you tell me about my first incarnation? What was I and what planet did I come from? I think that one was answered before, but mm -hmm. what my take on that. Okay, Uncle, Uncle Novak is here to help you with that answer. Let's see here. I don't really have an answer for that. They're not telling me anything. Apparently it was already answered by somebody else. Uh, okay. All right. We'll go a different route. You have a lot of lifetimes that are Ryan, and your guy is saying, it's hard to really give you a true answer on that because it's not that important in this reality is what they're saying. Yeah, you'll find, you, you will learn on your own, and going through someone like me is like, you know, it's kind of cheating. But not to say you're bad about that. But it's kind of like you got to figure it out on your own. So they have a lot of lifetimes in Orion. That's it. That's helping you as a as a healer. As a they're not going into that either. But anyway, All right, I'll just leave you with that. Blessings. Okay. 
And our second one is, can you tell me about my relationship with my friend Elaine? We seem to have a love-hate kind of thing going on. What's our previous connections to make uh, this yeah, happen? You guys used to have male-female lifetimes together as lovers and all kinds of stuff. You guys have been all over the everywhere. Grandma, grandpa, you know, brother, sister. Uh, it seems like you had a relationship situation where you're just like lovers and then you broke it off and you got back together. Da, 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 they just kept going back and forth. So as male, female, and other lifetimes. Here you're kind of doing the same thing. You're just friends. And it's just a, yeah, man, okay, yeah, you have like a look. It's just, it's just what's going on. That's all. It's just like this. Thank you, Rabbi. Okay. Okay. And let's see. Next questions would be, hmm. Um, okay. Next one is from Moses. What am I doing in astral? Connecting to the Palladians and the Canines is quite interesting. Noting alliance between the both and Galactic Federation of Life with a lot of that secret. You're part of the first contacts. Yeah, many of you are part of the first contact. Well, technically, everyone here is part of the first contacts situation but some do take it you know they do more than others those that are not awakened you'd be surprised how much they are part of it but then they come back in their bodies like i'm not going to connect to that but you're doing a lot of part of the first contact situation yeah that's going to be another incarnation from what i'm saying not to say you're going to have another earth incarnation but I think you have more of an alien incarnation, but you're going to be assisting in first contact in some ways. You know, you do the cooking or something like that. I don't know what it is. It's a joke. Anyway, go ahead, please. Thank you. <laughs> next, is, oh, next question is, are there any messages from my main guides? You're finding peace, finally. And you're finding peace with yourself. You're learning to love yourself more. And you're just becoming more comfortable in this incarnation. Realize that many are incarnate human, can't stand it because they're alien or they're just tired of this world. They know they have a reason to be here and you're one of them. There's, there's a lot on your, you have a lot on your deck as for things to do here. But not all of it isn't physical, a lot of it isn't actual. Blessings to you. Okay. And next is Sandia Vela. Any messages or advice from my spirit on my current path? Yes, they say that the messages will start coming to you. It is when you are ready to receive them, though, but realize the messages can come directly to you. In some ways, you are pausing that connection. You're very connected to the elementals. In some regard, that is stopping your connection as for the spiritual flow. You're still not ready for a lot of the spiritual awareness part, but you're getting there. Yes, blessings. Okay, and our second one is, in a recent dream, I found a rock or seashell shape of a unicorn. Do they have any messages or simply showing me their presence? Showing their presence. You have a connection to them, yes. But it's up to you to connect to them. Thank you. Blessings. Okay. Um, is Ivan doing okay for a few more questions? Yes. Okay. Um, and next? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Next is Migs1111. Any advice on a new place to live? No. Uh... Another universe is like a, most humans would. <laughs> anyway, um, I bought a draconian world. We have a lot of insectoid friends that would like to join you. Try not to be eaten by us reptilians. Anyway, that didn't go as thought of. That didn't go as I thought. Anyway, uh, not to say insectoids are my friends, but anyway. Uh, whatever it feels comfortable for you, you gotta follow your heart. But don't make any sudden decisions because you don't know exactly where you want to go. 
So that might also tell you that it's not time to leave yet. So that's up to you, of course. Follow your instincts, your heart. Lessons. Okay. And the next one is any messages for me? Your guides are saying patience, the answer will come soon. Also, you have to be honest with yourself that there's a lot of unhappy memories with you that need to be released, and that will help you in your direction. Some things you're holding on to, past relationships, once those are released, because they are, but they're not fully, they still bother you here and there. Once they are released, you will know exactly what to go, where to go, what to do, but realize you are in a healing process also. This healing process is, you are in a time of renewal, soul renewal, of soul reflection, but realizing that you are much more than just this physicality and you're slowly connected to all that. But you will be the master of your world you're slowly getting there. Your path is opening up. Also, you have much healing abilities with you that can be activated. Hawthorne energies. There's much more to that. Any questions? Okay. okay. And next is Marianne 9999. Hello. Any messages for me? Yeah, you have a lot of draconian connections. They all say hi. Nothing to worry about. You have a lot of gray connections also. And they don't say hi. They are, they say it's all weird. Your connections with also the blue Palladians will help you heal from those, from the draconian, from the Zeta. If you connect to them in meditation, you will see them. They love you very much. Also, your connection with Archangel Michael is quite strong. And the angelic realms, you have an angel aspect that has been trying to connect to you. The name is Rudolph. Nice name. Blessings. And next is, our next question is, my past lives in Atlantis is coming up now. Could you tell me what lives that need clearing? Well, that's for you to decide. That well, that came through, and others will follow. So that just gave me an idea. Uh, this is for you to figure out. That has come through. More will come when needed. A meditation, uh, yeah, we're in lifetimes. Feline lifetimes, those weren't fun. Well, some of them were, but not all. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. A lot of... They have worlds that are similar to this. Not exactly, but harsh. All right, that's all I got for your blessings. Okay, and next is Car Carol McLaughlin. When are there any messages for me? Archangel Michael sends his love. Also, you have many angel children that you're not aware of. There are many males and female angel children that are actually reincarnated as children with you in other lifetimes. But that is for you to connect to. One more way. Yes, your, your guides say do not forget about the angelic realm. Where you do, you're doing much there. Assisting the elderly. Assisting those crossing over. And you can connect to that. And this reality. As for letting the soul release, healing the soul, those are like in nursing homes, wherever you feel, wherever you connect to, to help them find the right place as for where they go. A town is very strong with you. Blessings. Okay. And our next question is, what is going on with my eight-year-old grandson, Zachary? As yesterday, he was so angry when it was time to go to school and was throwing a huge tantrum. Can you send him some help? Yeah, he has a lot of... Ooh, not good. A lot of actually negative... Palladian lifetimes. 
that were not very pleasant. And his rage for that is still holding on. He did not get what he wanted then. He's not getting what he wants here. He is reactivating those lifetimes. That not need to do that. As a child, it's very frustrating being in a world like this of much frustration. So he goes back into the rage of those lifetimes is what I'm seeing. And those were part of the, they have affected human lifetimes also. Lessons. Set him to heal. He'll be all right. Yeah, he's going to have some, it's going to be hard growing up. Meditation would be good for him. Past life regression would be good for him, but I'm not sure of how that's going to go. All right, next lesson. Lessons. Okay. And next is Daria. Um, first question is, does Anubis spy on me when I'm cooking from Astral? If yes, does he like it? You can tell him I will cook for him one day if it is optional. Yeah, he loves it. This is a couple of Anubis around you. Yeah, they love it. They love it that you're acknowledging them also. <laughs> okay. And next is Moses. Can you tell me if the theory from Robert Morning Sky is right? He told that if you die that you shouldn't go towards the light because the light from an operating room, because that is the light from the operating room where they reprogram your memory. You know what? Go where you want to go. Your soul is going to find the right place. If your heart's in the right place, your intentions are in the right place, you, you feel connected to spirit, you will not have a problem going to the right place. Having anyone tell you what to do, not a good idea. Just follow you will, your soul will know where to go. But if you're one that's not connected to spirits and have a lot of anger or just hostilities, it's easy to go in the wrong way, the wrong place. But if you are, you are just connected, just you're at peace with yourself in the spirit world, you should not have any problem. Okay. And next one is, what DNA and fusion can you recommend for me? Can you give me this infusion? Thank you. Much blessings. Reptilian, what else? I don't recommend that at all. I think I'm crazy. Mm-hmm. Or you're not crazy. Uh, Palladium, uh, 2%. Uh, 2%. Arcturian also, they will assist you. Blessings. Okay. And next one is, what do you think about the Okay, next is Sandia Vela. Do I have any positive messages from my guides or sending masters around me? Well, of course, you have positive messages. Hopefully, they've been positive in the past. Um, I don't think they've ever said any negative answers. Well, yeah, that's another. Uh, they say that you're going to be eventually connecting on your own to receive these messages. Meditation is will be good. You're not connecting to meditation in a way where messages will come through. Times in the sun, meditating in the sun for a little bit will help this come through more. That is a message from spirit. And all is well. Okay. And the next one is, can I have a yell yell infusion to help my energy? Yes. Around 5% will be, yes, blessings. Okay, and from Migs1111, how much of the movie The Matrix is true? No, mostly none of it. <laughs> I understand it's a Hollywood-wise, that's, that's just Hollywood. Your Matrix, you are living it, but the, the real world is a spiritual friendly world. Yes, it might be a little bit chaotic, but The Matrix is all just fantasy. <laughs> the red pill, the orange pill, whatever. Uh, if you want a, mi- a big machine that's running everything, that's your reality. You can connect to that. But it is whatever reality you want to connect to, actually. So if you want that to be real, then it's real. That's how easy it is. That's how it works. So it's whatever you want it to be, basically. Okay. okay. And the last question is for me. Um, I believe I recently just met again one of my soul family, very close connection. We're just completely always having fun. And I want to know what other connections from past life are sticking out. His name's Emmanuel. Well, 
a lot of reptilian, a lot of Naga energy there, Palladian. Uh, Roman energies from ancient Rome, a lot of that. Also, Celtic lifetimes, much of that also on this planet. A lot of Celtic lifetimes. Cool. Yes. And uh, my last question is, are, I've been channeling for a little while now. I just want to know if my channelings have been very ac pretty accurate or am I getting better? Am I yeah, is it getting better? Yeah, just go follow the follow your heart. Yes, you're doing well. There's a lot of Arturians that like to come through to bring you a healing. Hathors would be good also. Arturians would, would help you take, might take you into another direction. But it's helping much, yes. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. And that's the last of the questions for tonight. Thank you, Novak. All right, anytime. Blessings, humanity. Uh, great out. Oh, much love.